Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner runner. Welcome back to another gameplay video. I absolutely despise lighter weight ammo than most of my airsoft replicas. But sadly, I was not able to go and buy my normal 0.32 gram BBs this week. I had to play with 0.25 gram BBs out of my Masada and were my groupings just all over the place. I still had roughly the same range um, as when I'm using my 0.32 gram BBs, but I did not have the same accuracy. You'll see in this video, and this is why I'm actually putting this video up. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest gameplay ever, but hmm, you're watching this channel, so what do you expect? <laughs> but it, it wasn't the greatest gameplay. <laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh there. Oh, it wasn't the greatest gameplay ever, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you, go back and watch some of my other videos with my Masada and you'll see that even on some windier days and things like that, um, when, I'll, when I stabilize up against something, my shots are all fairly consistent even at longer ranges. Um, but today, they just weren't. And that's because of the 0.25 gram BB. So I'm putting this video up to really show you guys what can happen when you step up into those heavier weight BBs and your gun can lift them. And don't use the, oh, well, I'll just use what I have today as an excuse because I did and it was less than enjoyable I will say so without any further ado let's get into the gameplay I have talked for far too long don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and I hope you all enjoy this gameplay ah. Effective range is gone. Right off the bat, I noticed that I could still reach out, but with the crosswind on the field, my shots were getting knocked off way more than normal. Right here was the first part of the game where I really noticed that even a little bit of a breeze was going to throw my BBs right or left. And this kid had a riot shield, so no matter how many BBs I plinked at him, there was no hope. He just stuck his pistol around and took me out. Right here, as I was reviewing the footage, I zoomed in extremely, and all of my BBs were either floating right over the guy's head, or in one instance, when I very first started shooting at him, the breeze carried them and brought them off target. That was insane to me. I haven't seen that in a very long time, not since I started using my 0.32 gram BBs. This is why I really don't like 0.25s. Shit, gotta reload. Nope, in a bad spot. Ah! On the reload. Did they get you too? Sweet. See, right there was proof enough that I did still have the range that I'm used to, but not the accuracy. And also, you have to watch out for snipers on the field. <laughs> Is 
It's falling just a little shy. Guys, these far left hay bales over here. This is the point of the game where I become very obsessed with a sniper spotter combo. There was a guy over there who was using an AEG and his buddy who had a sniper rifle. They both made for a very deadly combination and they were able to lock down the corner of the field without any of us getting to them. Okay. Far left, hey, hey, you got a sniper, right? Yeah. How much range you got? Very. Okay, good. Hay bales, oh, over here yeah. in the corner. Yeah. Thank you. From here, one of my fatal flaws takes over. I go to run up and try to grab cover to try and engage the enemy up front, but I still become obsessed with the sniper spotter combo, and I divert my attention to them, which was absolutely a mistake here. I should have kept moving forward, but as you will see in a minute, I did not. That's why you just don't talk about it. Guys, can we get somebody to advance that way? Got it. Guys, mad rush, right side! And that is it for me. I hope you all enjoyed this gameplay and I hope I made my point as to how heavier weight BBs, especially paired up with a really good hop up and a good barrel, can absolutely change the game. I definitely noticed that I did still have a lot of my normal range, but my BBs were flying wherever they wanted to and not where I wanted them to. I always think that videos like these are very important, especially in airsoft, because it's different than just sitting down in front of a camera and telling you about it. This way, I was actually able to show you guys about it. But again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right. down oh, below, and I look forward cameras. to seeing you all next time right here on Runner Runner Airsoft.